Hey guys, can I receive you another review? This time, welcome to part 2 of my review of the complete selection modification O's Driver Complete Set from Kamen Rider O's. In this part, I'll be taking a look at the new melds and new combos that can be made with them, as well as the extra transformations included in the set. So, let's get started. First, let's get back to the metals. So, we have the box back here again. This time we'll open it up, and this time we're going to remove the first tray, as well as the fourth through seventh trays. So, starting with the first tray, there are a couple of melds in here that I did not show off initially. Which are first off, the cracked Taka Core Metal. So this is something that appeared in the final episode of O's and was used for special transformation. You can see that for that they molded and painted in these crack lines in the front and back, as well as made special molding into the top ridge to actually show these pieces that have been damaged. And the second one is the broken Taka metal. This is Ankh's final core metal that was broken in the final episode of the series, and it's something that AJ keeps with him at all points past the ending. In this case, these are two completely separate pieces. They're molded individually. And again, there is going to be a paint to actually give them that look that they were really broken. And as such, these don't have any kind of chips, so this is more of a collector's item or decorative piece rather than any kind of thing that is meant to function with the O's driver. Next into this tray, we can take a look at the mouse that go in these slots. So first up we have the Super Taka, Super Tora, and Super Bata medals from the O's and or from the Forza and O's crossover movie War Mega Max. So these ones are the standard Tatoa medals, but with the symbols painted in gold. And below them, also from Movie War Mega Max, are the X Amazon and Stronger medals that were used to summon them alongside the uh, Astro Switches for Rider 1, Rider 2, V3, and Rider Man. Getting to the next tray. The first of those, we have the Imagine and Shocker movie, the Imagine and Shocker Mels from the uh, O's and Deno crossover movie. Then for the rest of the tray, we have the Foundation X core medals that were seen in uh, the uh, Hasty Generation's final movie, actually. Sorry about the little pause, it just took me a little bit to remember the name of it. But yeah, these are used in the Hasty Generation's final movie. And they are basically the same as the standard core medals. Except they have silver rims instead of gold ones. Then starting with the next tray, we have some brand new core medals. And so these ones are future core medals that were shown to exist in Movie War Mega Max, but not actually shown physically. So starting from top, we have the Ebi, Connie, and Sasori core medals. In this case, these ones are actually colored in with individual colors. And as you can see, the positions of Sasori and Ebi have been switched. So that Ebi is the head metal, and Sasori is the leg metal. Next up, we have the Shiga or Dieter Mels, the Gazelle metal, and the Uchi or Cow metal. Then below it, we have the Mukade or Centipede metal, the Hachi or Bee metal, and the Ari or Ant metal. And the backs. Then we get to the final tray. So here we have the Seiyuchi or Walrus Mel, the Shirokuma or Polar Bear Mel, 
and the penguin metal. In blood, we have the Same or shark metal, the Kujira or whale metal, and the Okamiyo or wolfish metal. And for the bottom row, we have a couple that were used in specials, those being the kangaroo metal and panda metal, plus one more uh, future metal, which is the Yadokari or hermit crab metal. And this one is in the spot because this one has no combo that it's a part of. Additionally, for the kangaroo metal, it has an X on the back instead of a standard one, two, or three lines because this can be used as more than just one position. Next, we'll bring in the O's driver and O's scanner for the transformations. First up, we'll use the ta Crack Taka metal alongside the Kujaku and Condor metals. This gives you a special version of the Tajador transformation tune used in the final episode, where the announcement calls for the medals are replaced by Ankh's voice instead of the regular voice. Interesting thing here is that the Crack Taka metal actually modifies the sounds of the other two medals. And that only happens if you scan this metal first. If you were to do it in a different order, It would have, you would actually act like that. And then we'll do the scanning charge. Next, we'll use the Super Tatova medals. Here we get the transformation for Super Tatawa Combo. And then we have the Scan Charge. After that, we'll use the Rider Metals, X, Amazon, and Stronger. And this creates a scanning charge that is something that replicates the sounds used to summon those three riders from the metals. Next we'll use the Taka, Imagine, and Shocker metals.
This creates Tamashii combo. And then we'll use the scan charge. And one thing interesting to note, specifically about, about the shocker metal, is that it's got a, odd, an odd quirk to it in that on the back you can see that it has the three vertical lines to in, indicate that, or rather has the three lines to indicate that it is a leg metal, but in this case they're vertical instead of horizontal because of how it's designed to have the screw holes be here and here instead of at the top and bottom. And this really does make it off, although this is unfortunately a carryover from the original Shocker Metal that didn't actually read as Shocker. Then we'll use the other metals in this tray, the Foundation X metals. So with the combination of metals we have here, we can make Tatoba, Gatikiriba, and Tajador. And as you can hear, while the transformation sound is the same, the clanging sound that is made when you scan the metals is a bit different than the normal one. Then we'll make Gatakiri Ba. So for Tatoba and Gatsukiriba, the metals behaved about the same compared to the normal version, just with a different scanning sound. You have something a little bit different when you get to Tatador. Now here you have something unique in that when you scan the metals in the driver, when you scan them individually, they read in the normal way, but when you finish the transformation, it's anchoring at the metals. You also have a special attack sound for the scan charge. And this is to replicate the line and special attack used by O's in Hasty Generations Final. Now, 
Next, we'll get to the future quarter medals. Starting off with Ebi, Sasori, and Kani. This creates Picasso combo, and what you hear was that the metals actually have different voice readings than the original black metals. So just for comparison, that's the new ones, and then for the old ones, and then we'll do the scanning charge. Then we'll use the Shika, Gazelle, and Ushi medals. This creates Shigazashi combo. And the scanning charge. They will use the Mukade, Hachi, and Ari medals. This creates Mugakiri combo. Then the special attack, or scan charge rather. Then we'll use the Seiyuchi, Shirokuma, and Penguin medals.
This creates Seishiruki in combo, and if you're wondering why he has the same post transformation phrase for all of them, that's because he's commenting on the power of the future core metals. And then the scanning charge. And for the last of the new combos, we have the Same Kujira and Okamiuo com medals. This creates Saramiwo combo and the scanning charge. And then we'll use our last three metals. So since these are just used for random combos, it doesn't really matter what metals we use them with. Let's just use them all together. and scan charge. Though of note is that the kangaroo metal, as I said, has more than one use in that it is shown to be used as both an arm and leg metal. Next, we'll look at the extra transformations for the O driver, and to do that, we need to switch the O scanner to its special scanning mode. To do that, you just need to hold down the trigger, and then switch on the O scanner. This will activate a new startup sound, and that way you'll know it's in the special mode. So, for this, we have two special transformations that use the metals for Tatoba and Gatsukiriba. We'll start off with Tatoba. This gives you the transformation of the original O's from 800 years ago. And then we have his special scanning charge. So that considerably long scan charge sound was to replicate the scene in which the original O's seals away all of the core metals. Next we'll switch out the Tagantori metals for Kuwagata and Kamakiri. And we'll also switch the O scanner over to by voice mode as it had in normal mode for the 800 years ago O's. 
simply because if I had on by voice mode, it would have added in Aidley's voice, which isn't quite right because Aidley was not the original O's. So first we'll do the transformation. So there we get the Galakiri bot transformation, followed by O's multiplying himself. Then we'll scan him again. And there we have the sounds of O's transforming into his seven original combos. Rather, the different God Kiribat clones transforming into different combos. And then, one final saying charge. And all these sounds help to replicate the uh, climactic final battle in the Kamen Rider O's summer movie. Finally, we'll look at the Poseidon buckle. This is the belt piece used by Kamen Rider Poseidon, one of the villains from Movie War Megamax. So this is an alternate piece that can be attached to the O's Rider belt straps. And the funny thing about it is that it comes with its own buckle. And it's kind of strange because you'd think that with how the original O's driver has always, for some reason, had a feature where you could take the actual front of the buckle piece off, like that, you would think that they would design it so that this would go on in its place, but instead it has its own totally silver-painted buckle. And then you have the gold and black inner piece itself, where you put in the metals. So for Kamen Rider Poseidon, he used... The Same Kujira and O Kamiuo medals. And these just slot into these three places. So you just have to take them and essentially just wedge them into place using the three clips on the sides. And that gives you the transformation for Kamen Rider Poseidon. Unfortunately, this is pretty much the only thing this does, because there is no other button to activate any kind of special sound. And if you remove one of the metals... That deactivates the transformation. It's also designed to not be very specific to uh, these metals. And that the way it's activated is just three is just via three buttons in the center. So if I press and hold all three of these buttons, it'll activate the Poseidon transformation just it, like if I had those three metals in. It also means that technically you could use any three metals for this, but these are the three that you're supposed to use. There's also no uh, kind of extra switches on the back, just the battery compartment and the reset button. And there we go. That's it for part two. Stay tuned for the third and final main part of the review which will be Thursday at 6 p.m. PST, and I'll explain a little bit more about what I mean when I say main part when you get to that video itself.
So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Chaotic Sifty, riding off.